Hello, welcome back to more opening stuff because that's fun. No. We're gonna open Dranite or Dranite, the uh, new trial or is this trial deck or something else? Yes, trial deck. It's reading uh, for DD Dragon Tribe for more Garga stuff because that's fun. So. I'll start by cutting away at those trial deck edges there. There you go. Pull this thing out. All right. So what's this come with? So foiled garga, as as is tradition. With a little foldy back there. This is our buddy fight ace mat and ooh, I like that life counter. That's pretty cool. My life. Story in my life. What is this thing? It's probably some poster for like... It's probably something about like how to play the deck. Oh yes. Teach you about attributes, power, card names, items, spells, flags. You know, help, helping, helping the youngsters. Oh wow, they got uh, snippets of the comic book in here too. So. Because apparently they're not going to make a new season of Ace anymore. They're just like keeping it with the comics. So that's why you got the comic book style or sorry, manga style. Everyone's getting triggered because I don't know how to pronounce Japanese cartoon books, right? Um, what else is in here? Is this sealed? No, it's not sealed. There we go. There's the slip. We got our standard mat. In case anyone forgot what the buddy thing now looks like, there you go. If you left, center, right, the decks on the bottom half, like Yu-Gi-Oh, flag item, phases, all that good stuff. Alright, on to the important part, the cardboard. Alright, so we get, we're supposed to see if we get like a super special foiled flag, but we'll find out later. So we get our foiled Gargantua Knight Dragon. And then there's four more copies of those, so this is supposed to be your buddy when you start playing. So Gargantua Night Dragon, what does this thing do? Uh, pay a gauge, put this on top of your deck in his soul. It's drag odds, so you can use it with all flags. Uh, G boost base, so that's the new keyword for Garga decks now. So it's at the start of your attack phase. For the turn, all cards on your field get plus 10k power. If you have another DDT in your field, all DDTs get an additional crit. As double attack and soul guard. So uh, even if this leaves the field, you still get the 10k and the additional crit if you meet the requirements. And Jibu's base has to basically start the minute you declare your battle phase. So you declare battle phase, Jibu's base activates, and then you get the effects for the rest of the turn. And then all your stuff gets power and crits. And the new one, it's better because I think it gives them penetrate too. Let's see what more bad cards are in here. We got two copies of this thing, Evolution Blaze, uh, pay to gauge, uh, when this enters, destroy a monster in your opponent's field, counter, call this from your hand, pain call cost. Wow, that is awful. Uh, what else is in here? One copy of this thing, Larfen Gardra, uh, pay a gauge, put top card in its soul, when it's destroyed, put the top card in your deck, and your gauge, gain a life. Nah, okay. Soul guard. And move. Oh, it has the definitions of Soul Guard and move. So yeah, this is a pretty bad card. Hey, reprint. Lanze or Lands Dragon. So this thing is basically, uh, well, it's a size 2, but if you have a drag out, it becomes a size 1. And then um, Cog Cost, you have to put a card from your drop into its soul and pay a gauge. And then all drag odds on your field gain penetrate, and they can't be rested. So And this has triple attack too. So on top of the additional crit that uh, Night Dragon would give to this, so this has triple attack, so swings two, two, two by itself. You only get one copy because it's a reprint, and I think Lands Dragon is somewhat important. I mean, it's only like a $2 card foiled. But hey, reprints. Reprints are good for your starting players. This deck also comes with four copies of this thing, uh, Degen Gardra. So when this attacks for this turn, DD Dragon Tribe on your field get plus 5k, and this says double attack. Oh, so it hits like the 1,000 requirement, I guess, or 10,000, I mean. So, yeah, this is... 
That's that's still pretty bad. You want you want to trade that in immediately. Three copies of this thing. Um, Dolch Gardra. Call cost pay gauge. Uh, when this attacks, if this is ten thousand or greater, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field. That's kind of interesting. Board. I mean, it, if it destroyed all cards, obviously run it. But um, Garga Avi, Garga has the Phantom Gargantua Dragon for destroying stuff, so this card's not really needed. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent. Oh wait, there's only two copies. I'm a dumb dumb. Yeah, I only get two copies of this thing. And the next card is two copies of this. That's weird. You know what? I think you do get two copies of this then. Because I found the extra one. So it's two copies of this thing, two copies of this thing, two copies of this thing. What does this one do? It's Mount Gardra. Uh, when this attacks, if this is 10,000 or greater, uh, that gets crit plus two and penetrate. Or it has penetrate passively. That's pretty decent. Like if you're just starting out and you're like, oh cool, 10k, uh, three crit, penetrate two on a, from your size one. Gets an extra crit from uh, Garganite, so four crit. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty decent with Penetrate. Oh, cool, we got reprints of Garcat. So two copies of Garcat. I'm guessing it didn't give you four because that'd be too busted. Garcat, for sure, everyone's going to be running four of this. It's too good. It's when it enters, if you have another DDT, you gauge and draw. It's, it's free pluses, so definitely a really good card there. What is this thing? Gar Gazelle is terrifying. Um, when this enters the field uh, for this turn, a DDT gains 5k. And it doesn't have move or a way to return. This is pretty bad. I don't think anyone should even touch this card. Just the fact that if it sits in your center, you can't swing with your item. And if you don't have an item, you're relying on this. There's way better cards you can be running for. Yeah, this is just bad. Get rid of this thing immediately. <laughs> uh, cool, we're on to spells. This card is really good art, but I'm just really sad that that's pretty bad. Uh, boost on. Uh, cast if you have a DDT. Choose one of the following. You can only use G boost, or sorry, boost on once per turn. You either gain three life or get three gauge. Pretty, pretty good. It's basically, um, there's some spell. I completely forgot the name of it from like an old, it's basically like Dragonic, a better Dragonic Charge or, or something like that. I completely forgot the name of the card. But it also gives the option of gaining three life, so it's a it's a worse version of some other card. What's up next? <laughs> Gar lit. <laughs> lit. Uh, for this turn, uh, DDT's gain 10k. It's literally what the, what the card says it does. It just makes all your cards lit. That's funny. Um, no, I wouldn't run it. This is a good card. Drag Odd Shine. Um, definitely a 2 or 4 of. Uh, or 3. This is just a really good card. You should run multiples of it. It's Pay a Life. Uh, you only can use Drag Odd Shine once per turn. You either search your deck for an, a DDT item. So There you go. You have your DDT item. You don't really need Guard Gazelle at all. Or you add two DDT monsters from your drop back to your hand. They had to have d different names though, but Dragon Shine is a really good card. So that's really nice that they reprinted that. The other really good reprint is Gar Oracle. Uh, Gar Oracle is like your standard like what's that one spell that lets you draw two cards from Magic World? It's like a clone. This is, every good deck basically has like a clone of Pay a Gauge, Draw Two, except this one is if you have. Um, a Dragog on your field, you gain two life as well. So you can only cast this if you have DDT, you pay gauge, draw two. If you have Dragog, you heal two. You can only cast Garakul once per turn. is a great card. Uh, on to a new fun card. We got two copies of DD Purple Dragon Shield. So Purple Dragon Shield is, um, you can only cast this if you're, if you're being attacked during your opponent's turn. You have no center, and you have a DDT on your field somewhere, so it could be your item as well. Uh, you nullify the attack, you put the top card you gauge in, you gain a life, so it's like Sun Dragon Shield. And then if you have a drag god, you draw a card. So with this, the way with the trial deck, this is really great. You should definitely get more of these things. My only issue with throwing it with the uh, DD Garga deck is that 
all of the gargas have move, so you're always moving to the center anyways. This one doesn't have move, right? I think it's just soul guard. Yeah, double attack and soul guard. So uh, your center is going to be closed, which is why purple dragon shield is kind of iffy because you can't really use it. But um, the uh, gar... Pari and Fighting Emperor Dragon Shield don't require have requirements with your center being open, so they still work even if you move. Uh, I tried ordering Fighting Emperor Dragon Shields, but the vendor just never shipped it out and I had to get a refund, so there you go. Now they're not even available on TCG Player anymore. Fun. Next up for spells, uh, four copies of DD Green Dragon Shield. Um, yeah, it's same thing, it's when you're you can only cast this when you're being attacked. Um, and you have no monster in your center, you have a DDT, you nullify and you gain 3 life, so... Pr really, really good for when you're starting out, so you can get into the, you know, used to nullifying stuff. Um, but I feel like there are other cards that help you heal way faster, so you really don't need DD... You don't really need DD green shield much. Um, Fighting Emperor, Purple Shield, and Gar Prairie are, are way better. This is a fun reprint, Loud Voice. This card got limited to one in Thunder Empire, which is really funny. I think it still is. So it's um, drop one or more cards from your hand as its cost. Uh, counter, all your cards in your opponent's field give negative three, negative, uh, negative three attack and power. Sorry, power and attack are the same thing. Power and defense. So negative three power and defense and negative one crit for each card that you discarded. So I feel like this was really important when you had a lot of chaos decks and they had like the four monsters and you just go... Like discard three and they have negative nine, negative three crit, and then for the turn. Or like you target those things. Um I'm actually not a I don't know what deck this would be good for right now in this meta for running loud voice, but I know Garga has its own version of this, which is kind of the same. It's called Guard Down, where you pay two gauge um and two life, I think, something like that, and you have to have a, a Drag out with two soul, and then they get negative five attack and defense, and like negative three crit. So you don't have to discard cards, you just have to pay resources, which I feel like is a little better, but even then, like the cards just kind of attack. Oof, Lazaga's ready. Thanks. Um, what is next? What is, we have four copies of this thing. What does this thing do? So we got Gar Knight Saber. It's Pretty decent art, typical trial deck art. Uh, pay a gauge for a quick cost. When it attacks, you gain a life, and if this is 10k, it gets uh, you get to draw a card. Um, one Gar Chris. So Gar Chris is is actually really 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 good. So you, if you have a drag god, um, all drag gods and this thing can't be destroyed, and they get 4k power. And they can't, and their abilities can't be nullified by your opponent. So, this is really important, and I think it's really good that they reprinted that. And next, Garnite Dagger. This thing's probably not that great in my opinion. It's just when it attacks, if you have ten thousand power grid, it gets double attack. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, four copies of the Impact. So this Impact is. Uh, you can only cast a card if your opponent's like 4 or less, and there's no open center, and you use G-Boost during the turn, you pay 2 gauge, deal 4. So it's basically like DD Gargantua Punisher. And I didn't get the foiled flag. So that's pretty much it. Thanks you guys for watching, and see you all in the next video. Bye.